be doing another Funko Pop unboxing. And the reason is, is because we hit a thousand subs. And because of that, we're giving away a set of four Funko Pops. Now, we're not gonna say what they are or what they're from, other than they're from a popular anime. And there's gonna be hints in videos up to October, 9th, October the 7th. And on the 7th, we are gonna pick a winner. Now, how do you get your name in that drawing, Mike? Well, Dave, if you catch that little hint, keep it clever enough, you put it together and you can put a little comment down there thinking of saying what you think it is, which will automatically throw you an entry. If you get it right, we'll give you two entries. If you don't, we'll just give you one. Now, we're not gonna tell you if right. you got it right or not. We'll know until it happens. But if you got it right, you will get two entries. If you got it wrong, you just get one. Right. So even if you don't know, just be like, squirrel make bob pants. And we'll be like, all right, cool. And that's one entry into the draw. But if you are, it's the Batman and Robin set of Funko Pops, which I don't even know if there is. But if you're right, you get two entries. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's get into this, guys. Today, we are unboxing some Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon! Now, the reason that we're unboxing these two specific Pokemon is because these are our favorites. Not in front of us, of accordance to favorites. I love Mewtwo. I'm a Vulpix guy. So that's what we're bringing to y'all. But, let's go ahead and get into it. That's pretty cool. I have to say right off the bat, this is unusual for Funko Pops. The backgrounds in the boxes are cool. Yeah. You'll notice here with Mewtwo, and we'll go ahead and move him, it looks like kind of a hypnotizing effect. So if you know Mewtwo, you know he's psychic and uses an attack called Confusion. If you ask me, that looks like the Confusion Ray that he shoots out at another Pokemon. Correct. And then there's Vulpix. And Vulpix has a similar thing of fire. And, you know, Vulpix does Ember or Flamethrower or, you know, any one of a hundred thousand fire attacks. So, yeah. Funko, great addition. I don't know if I'll have it part of the displaying of Mewtwo, but I love the effort. You know, we used to say that Funko was very generic, very you know, mold, and then just change up small aspects. The The backgrounds is a huge change up, and the variety of different Funkos, good job on spicing things up. Very solid. Now, another thing that I love is Mewtwo comes with a stand. It's a clear plastic stand, so it's hard to see, so it doesn't stand out, but it definitely makes him solid. And because he's not See? Vulpix fell over, and Vulpix has four paws compared to his two rear feet. So I love the fact that they had the stand. Would have loved to see it with the Vulpix. So I love the fact that you included the stand with the Mewtwo. Mike, tell us about Vulpix. So the Vulpix are like... Where they could have done the traditional, you know, dog style, Funko, big head, long nose. You know, the one tail, whatever. They they wanted to keep a traditional Vulpix, where he's got the seven orange tails and the three curls on the top of his head. And he's got the fox build with the long pointy ears and the small snout and all that stuff. I mean, it really, I mean, you don't even have to really know Vulpix all that well to kind of quick glance at, oh, that's Vulpix, that's pretty cool. You know? Absolutely. Mewtwo is the same exact way. You know, it's, it's got enough detail where it looks amazing, and you can tell immediately what it is. Absolutely. So, you know, they're, they're kind of branching out. Things are standing out more. I also love the variety because not only do they have this Vulpix, but they have a flocked Vulpix, which for you non-collectors or non-modelers, flock is kind of a fur that they can glue to figures, so it gives it a kind of furry a velvety feel, if right. you will. It was a little bit more on the price tag side, but... The only reason we didn't get it at the time is because Amazon, which is where we got these, was sold out. Right. 
If they had them, we definitely would have ordered them, and heck, we may still when they get restocked. The other cool thing that I love that they did with the Mulpix is they have a 10 inch figure. The thing is massive. Again, sold out or we would have gotten it. But the thing is massive. And I love the fact that Funko is doing the larger figures. You know? With that being said, it's time to show you a surprise. Hey, <laughs> you're not Mike. What am I supposed good, to say? Good job, guys. Are you this Mark? is Stevie from the camera. She is my lovely wife. Yes, I popped out of the camera. And uh, she she popped out of the camera. No, she came in front of the camera for a change. And the reason is, is because she herself is becoming a collector as well. And this big boy right here is all hers. Baby, what do you expect? What are you excited about? What do you like about it. Talk to us about it. Well, I like that it's almost like life size. It almost looks like it could be the same size as the baby Yoda, as everybody calls him, on the Mandalorian. So. Go ahead. I just, I guess I'm more excited about, I want to see what kind of details are in it, so I want to get it out of the box. Okay, well you heard it there guys. She's excited about checking it out. So let's go ahead and do so. Baby, do the honors. That was weak. Come on, I try it again. I can't snap with my right hand. All right. Wow. That thing is massive, guys. Now, this comes into the back. It's a, it's a background for the Funko in the box. So, we'll probably keep that to display them. Maybe we won't. We're not quite sure. Clinton. If you're watching this video, man, you could have warned me that it's a bobblehead. I hate bobbleheads. That's a freaking idea. I don't know why. I just hate bobbleheads. <laughs> biggest bobblehead I've ever seen. It's the biggest bobblehead I've ever seen. This thing is bigger than my dachshund. I mean... My pop's bigger than any of yours. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna flick your pop's head. Okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe bobbleheads aren't that bad. I don't like the small ones. I have to admit, it's pretty funny that she can make him do. <laughs> All right, that's pretty awesome. Uh, another thing about him, he's pretty heavy, you know? So you, you don't have to worry about someone, you know, just tipping him over, tipping him over or pulling him back. He's a pretty hefty guy. The base that comes with him is pretty big. The only difference between this and any other Star Wars pop is this base does not come off. And it's probably because of how massive the head is and because it does that. So the the head rocking back and forth would definitely knock it off of its 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 whatever it's standing on if it didn't have the base. So that's probably why the base on this is permanent. What are you thinking, honey? This is yours. I'm thinking it's extremely adorable and heavy, and it feels like a baby. <laughs> it bobbles around like a baby would too. My only thing is, is it does say Star Wars here. I wish it would have either painted the Star Wars or maybe instead put Mandalorian, considering it's more from the Mandalorian, which is kind of its own branch of Star Wars. Because in the regular Star Wars movies, you don't see a Baby Yoda. So, to me, it's more, it should have been more specific and have more detail in the branding up front. You know what I think would be cool? Is if instead of it saying Star Wars, if it had the Mandalorian logo, where it says Star Wars. I think that would have been cool to put this logo there and maybe even made it this color, this red. So it pops. <laughs> Funko pops. Sorry, stretching. But I think that would have been cool instead of the Star Wars. Or, like Stevie saying, do something to make the Star Wars pop out. Pop out. Otherwise, it's got a lot of detail, you know. They even went through and painted his little fingernails. 
My only thing is, is it looks like they didn't paint the fingernail up to where the actual nail ends. It's just like they painted the tips of the nail. Just the tips, y'all. Mm -hmm. Just the tips. Just the tip. But otherwise, I mean, I like that they went through all the detail to actually put in all the creases he's got in his head and make him look like Yoda instead of the regular pop where it's just kind of like a plain color and shape. Yeah, I have to say, I also love the subtleness. The, the pink in his cheeks and the pink inside of his ears, the subtle color changes. You know, the, the black eyes and, and like Stevie said, the fingernails. I love those great, just small details of the pop. Uh, and I gotta say, it doesn't bother me that it's bald head as much as I thought it would. It's, it, maybe it's just because of how damn cute he is. Yeah, I never thought I'd call Yoda cute, but... Did you uh, just assume that Yoda's gender? Uh, I did. I did assume Yoda's gender. Uh, I apologize. Instead of ridiculing me for being sexist or genderist or whatever it is, why don't you leave in the comments what sex Yoda is and how you know. So, inform me. Don't ridicule me. It's always the more you know. But I like the details as well, you know, between the, the, the lines on the, the robe and the padding around the neck that he uses to keep warm and around the cuffs. You know, the detail on it for a pop is just immaculate. I do love this. If you haven't checked out The Mandalorian, definitely do so. Season 2 is coming soon. Now, if you yourself want to get your hands on this massive pop, you're going to have to get in touch with our friend, Clinton, who is available on eBay at Baba June Online. And you can check him out on eBay. In fact, I'll leave a link below that'll take you straight to his eBay store. You can pick this up, plus many other of his collectibles that he's got. Well, now that we've gone over all of our pops, I think it's time that we grade these bad boys. So let's see what other magic we can work. There we go. Welcome back, Mike. Yeah, it's good to be back. So what do you think of it? Definitely uh, bobbly and interesting. So now this is a portion where we're gonna talk to you about what we rate them. And uh, I think we're gonna each individually rate our own. Uh, pops. So Mike's going to rate Bulbix, I'm going to rate Mewtwo, and Stevie here is going to rate Baby Yoda. So Mike, go ahead and start us off. I'm going to say four thumbs up out of five, because it's still just pop. And I'm not a big pop fan, but I love both things. So, four thumbs up out of five. Sounds good to me. Mewtwo, because he is my favorite Pokemon, I do love the fact that it's not just a generic model or mold, if you will, and the base that they included is not only bigger to support Mewtwo better, but it also seems to be a heavier material than their typical base. I'm going to have to give this Mewtwo four out of five thumbs up as well. Uh, I do like Pops probably more than Mike and Dave do. My only complaint, again, was if I'm displaying them on the shelf, you're not going to see the brand or anything in the front, whether it be Star Wars, Mandalorian. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a four and a half thumbs up. That's right. She went there, yo. <laughs> so there you go. You heard it from the Game & Watch Bros directly. Volpix got a four. Mewtwo got a four. And Baby Yoda got four and a half. Now, if you want him, you're going to have to go to Baba June's, link below. If you want them, or any of the other versions of Pokemon, check out Amazon. Their links will also be below. So thanks for checking us out, guys. And as always, before we end, make sure y'all come back next month on the 7th, on the 6th, actually, to catch as we start our hard month of unboxings. And then come back the day after. Just find out if you won whatever four pops that we have. Absolutely. So, as always, 
Thanks for playing with us. Stay metal.